timey. Hey, there's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? Dude, we got a fun project today. Oh, help you. Almost got the this is my this is my shark kite. <laughs> hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm TJ. We have a really fun challenge, and this is one that you guys can actually do at home with a very simple airplane and a very big kite. But the goal is pretty simple today, isn't it? Yeah, it, it it's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be simple. We're gonna try this out. We were actually inspired by our good friend Alan Moore here. We're doing a little research on this concept. We came across his videos. We're gonna put that link in the description because he's a really cool guy. He has done this, yes, and it worked really well for him, but it didn't really have the flight test feel. So we're gonna take the FT Simple Soar. And a big shark kite. A big shark kite. And see if we can kind of recreate what Alan's already done. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a Simple Soar. We're gonna send this big monstrous kite up. We're gonna tie a tether to our tow release. And if everything works good with the wind, the glider will ride up the line all the way to the top. We can kick off at the top and then soar back down. I'm hoping we can just kind of chill out and let the kite do the work. I love how he says it because it sounds so easy. It's like, it's just gonna work. It's just- I hope it, it'll work. Yeah, it's we're gonna, gonna find be so out. nice. Well, first thing we gotta do is go back in time, and we gotta build this. Yeah. The way this is gonna go is gonna be pretty simple here. That's me. We're gonna take this all the way up to our shark kite. Attached up here is gonna be a stop. And I gotta figure out how close we want, because once this gets too close, the drag from the glider is gonna start pulling this down, or it could change the angle of my kite itself. So we're gonna probably go down a little bit. I'm gonna do a little research on that one. There's our airplane. And then I'm gonna fasten it to a ring right here. And then this is gonna have a release. And again, we're also gonna make sure that we have plenty of distance on the line here. So it's not too close where it pulls it down, but it's also far enough away where hopefully, as time goes up, it gets up closer and closer. And once it gets to the top here, I'll release the glider and be able to fly it down. All right, so that's the goal here. We're gonna build the glider, we're gonna put the shark up, we're gonna see how much tension the shark pulls. I got 250 pound test, so I gotta imagine it's a lot. And then we're gonna see if we can get the glider to ride the wind currents all the way up to the top of the stop point, release it, fly down, hopefully hook a thermal, and spend the rest of the day flying instead of working. So the airframe's pretty much done. Our next step is to put the electronics in. So we're gonna be just using our simple little tiny 800 milliamp Gen Zase 2 cell. We're gonna power it through our BEC. That's gonna keep our plane really light, but give us all the power we need to do what we wanna do. All right, so this is stupid light here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the weight because later what we wanna do is we wanna fly the kite and we wanna fasten the same amount of weight to see what it does to the kite. And if you lift it, this is under a pound, 0.85 pounds, uh, 400 grams. So. You want to see how far it glides, TJ? You wanna... <laughs> yeah. 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 So I don't think TJ realizes this, but this glides really, really far. He's going to be doing some running. All right, you ready to run? One. Have to make sure the controls are working. Two. Awesome, let's do it again! So this is a real simple tow release here that we designed. It's one of our FT elements. Uh, you can use this for things like drop in uh, banners. You can use this obviously for glider toes, even bomb drops. So what we're gonna have here is we have our really thin fishing line. This is only four pound test. The plane weighs way less than that. So we're gonna be just fine with that. And the way we hook this up is this will go through the nose of the plane. It'll pass through this lower little chamber right here. We loop it right around this wire and that's going nowhere. The second that we hit this button, it releases. So as long as there's some form of drag on the glider, there's no way that this is not gonna release. All right, so while the guys are working on this crazy project, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is my friends over at Raycon. So if you don't know much about Raycon, Raycon is a company that is currently disrupting the current electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for about half the price than other competitors. They're doing things differently than other brands out there, from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Another cool thing about Raycon is that they prioritize their customer experience from start to finish. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns, just like this one, the blue one that we have, we love that color, with a variety of fit options for a noise isolating fit. Also, probably the best part about Raycon's wireless earbuds, no wires, no stems, no nothing. They put them in your ears, you can just go. On top of that, Raycon was co-founded by a guy named Ray J, who's a big time name in the R&B music industry. 
Now when we talk about people who love their Ray accounts, obviously all of us over here at Flight Test, we love ours, but also celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, Melissa Etheridge, and many more love them as well. Now let's unpack these wireless earbuds real quick for you. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which is something I really enjoy, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Now whether you're taking up a new hobby or just want to make your day to day a little bit more comfortable, the Raycons are the perfect way to bring premium audio to everything that you do. Whether you're hanging out at home, working out, home office stuff, or even trying out a new hobby with your airplanes, you can literally do everything that you want to do with these Raycons. On top of all the other cool things, something that I'm really excited about with the Raycons is that they have a 45 day return policy. So if you're like me and you go and you have a little bit of buyer's remorse sometimes for the things that you buy, the Raycons, you don't have to worry about that because you can literally get them, put them in your ear, try them out. If they don't work for you, you can just send them on back, which is amazing. Now here's the best part. This is where you guys come in. Now, if you guys go down to the link in the description below, go to www.buyraycon.com slash flight test, you're gonna get 15% off your order of Raycons. That's 15% off. Again, check that link below. Go to buyraycon.com slash flight test to get 15% off your purchase of your Raycons so you can start having premium wireless audio in your ears for everything that you do. Now again, huge thanks to Raycon for partnering with us on this episode and for you guys for watching these episodes. Without you, we wouldn't be here. So I'm gonna go back and see what they got going on with this crazy project. Let's go. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How is this gonna fit out the door? Uh, I pull it really hard, literally. Why don't we do that? All right, so we're gonna head out. We first gotta see if there's enough wind to lift the shark. I, there's gonna be. If that all works out, then we'll bring this glider into play and have a little bit of fun. Yeah. But first, do us a favor here. Check out TJ's channel. TJ's been coming out and helping us for the past couple months. He's also a dear part of Flight Test for many years. He's doing incredible things for Buddy RC and Ohio Model Products. And uh, make sure you check out his channel. He loves helping people in the hobby, just like we do. And this kite's running away. Right? <laughs> right? Links in the description, guys, if yeah. you want to come over and check it out. I appreciate everybody that has. You guys are making things grow so much faster than I could have ever expected. So thank you. Thank you. Let's well, go fly. Let's go fly. <laughs> I think, I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. So it used to be when I was a little kid, every time I wanted to fly a kite, it was calm. Every time I wanted to fly an airplane, it was windy. What we have now is an airplane and a kite. So I think that means that we're gonna have some kind of fracture in the world. <laughs> I think we're ready. Let's just bring it all out, look for an opportune moment, and then just send it. Let's do it. All right. Just send it. I think we need to tie this just to the golf cart because if we put it here and it swings, we got, look how much line we still have. <laughs> we're just, all day long. Just send it to the moon. Not even looking at you. Just, just, just look at that. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Let's just park it right there. And here. Put the brake on so it doesn't pull the golf cart away. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's a lot of strain, bro. Imagine what the golfers are thinking right now. They're like, what are they doing today? <laughs> Oh, man. You ready, Dan? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh, that part's too loud. Let's do it. Oh, wait, we got it. <laughs> All right, looking good, bud. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. <laughs> Pull back, trying to stall it out to make it travel more and more up the, the wing, and I think it's working. Look at that! How, how high am I? So right now I got the kite tracking about 336 feet. Really? All right, I'm ready to release. I... Look at that! Wow. Did it do it? It did it. It actually did it on its own. 
Now the only downside is I'm not getting much glide slope. I don't know if it's because I'm not. Yeah, you're like parked in the air right now. So it's the wind, huh? Yeah, wind's pushing you back pretty hard. We're gonna have to ride up. It looks like you're laying it up at ready made here shortly. That's okay, I'm okay with that. Let's get the ridge lift off of this real quick. Dude, right on the top of ready made <laughs> That's awesome. We'll have to see if my uh, string comes down or not. I wonder if my string, I wonder if it was broken from it and it took the battery because it felt very nose heavy to me. Let's find out. All right. What's up? Dude, so, that worked so awesome. Oh my golly. Bye. Well, it, it was just magical seeing it kind of just wander up the line. And I went to, I was about to announce I was gonna launch it and yeah. all of a sudden it broke free. I'm like, what just happened? My, my yeah. guess is it hit the 360 camera. Right. And then had a, had a, oh. a shark. I mean, it, dude, it was shooting up really fast though. Was it? Like it, it climbed that line so much faster than I thought. And I really find it hilarious that we have a quite climb right now and nobody's, I know. like it's just <laughs> up there. It's right up there hanging out. So here's the symbol of the wind. Right now I'm directly underneath the kite and I landed behind where I was. Oh yeah, so I guess I guess there's a lot of wind going on. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try a couple of things here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hunt down some stronger string. That's gonna enable me to kind of pull back more and launch this out of the the uh, my hand, so I can I can pull down yeah. on it. Are you guys down with that? Dude, of course. <laughs> right. I mean, everything today has went so good so yeah. far. <laughs> well, and I think as far as I'm concerned, I think we can just park this. Yeah. Hopefully, like everything's far away from the power lines now, so I'm not worried. Um, providing the wind doesn't get too strong. Yeah. It's just gonna sit there and pull well, the dark golf cart It's around. supposed to be this way all day long. So the kite should fly all day long unless it gets a crosswind and then it'll hit a tree or something. Yeah, but. we'll just have to climb it. Yeah, I mean, be all right. Noah, That's all we got Noah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put a weight right over the center of gravity. And what we call that is a ballast. And ballast is gonna give you a higher wing loading, which is gonna enable the plane to penetrate a little more. Now, if you just threw it on a perfectly calm day, you may get a little bit less glide. Hopefully this is gonna give us the ability to penetrate through the wind and actually fly longer because we're not just gonna sit there floating and we can actually go across the wind this way. This is the easiest I've ever flown a kite. <laughs> Saying, gosh, it's gonna so, rip my arm off. <laughs> so much fun. Dude. All right, it is your turn, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this line in a second here. I've gotten to play with it. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Let's just see who can land it the closest because yeah. I'm not doing too good here. That, yeah, that wanna, wind up there is real. I wanna take out Noah's legs. Deal, so. hit the camera, man. <laughs> we'll be kidding, there's no problem, we're okay. All right, so let me just get this place. Dude. There's, there's a string, all right. Oh, Lord. Yep, are you ready? <laughs> Get ready, three, two, one and whoa, whoa there she go dude <laughs> all right oh that... you got a great i hope i turned it on all right let me know what right. do you think i think that's good all right let's go dude as soon as it releases i think it's still on uh i think so too i think i may have forgotten to turn it on <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm not getting any input like you... it's not <sighs> too bad <laughs> you know, I have this big nose. Like, what am I forgetting? Whoa! All right. All right. Are you ready for round two? Yeah, I sure am. I've got right. control, so now we just got to let it go. All right, here we go, guys. Don't get knocked out. <laughs> it's like. Dude, it's so funny how it just kind of goes, and then it doesn't, and it lays down. You can go, do it. Go, go, go. There it goes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this looks. Dude, it, it's doing a good job now. It is. All right, now we just got to get it to start sliding on that, that cable. Yeah. There it goes. So it starts All down. right. Gonna You're almost there. Oh. Go, go, All go. Right. You ready? <clears throat> Three. Yep. Two, one, go for it. And it worked! Oh yeah, you felt a release right there. Yeah. See, it looks like a big old bomber just released you to, to do And it just, it just stopped, man, the yeah. wind. That ballast definitely helped out go. a lot. Bring it around some. So we're gonna still try to take out the camera, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's braced. So yeah, the second you point it straight into the wind, man, it yeah. just stops dead. You I really don't want to walk. I don't, this. I don't want to walk. Just dip a dive. Don't, don't try to go for a glide slope. Just dip a dive. Nope. 
you're walking. Uh, you put it in the tree. I'll just put it in the tree. Oh, you put it in the pavilion! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take the chase quads. I mean, if I had a motor, you'd be fine. Okay, so fun fact. Yes. First time I ever flew something without a motor. Really? Yeah. Wow. So How was it? I probably should have told him that before we started, right? That's okay. It's easy. <laughs> I still probably easy to fly. Friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test Family. TJ, thank you so yeah, much man. for uh, for coming out here and helping us with this. What a fun project. By all means, if you got a big, heavy lifting kite. You got an awesome simple soar or a glider. Try this at home, it is yeah. fun. <laughs> Friends, don't forget to hit that subscribe bell. Also, we're just about to cross over two million. We're less than 100,000 away. Start leaving in the comments what you'd like to see. When we hit a million the last time we made a tank fly, we really wanna up that. We need you guys to give us the ideas to make reality. Yeah. Let's go pick up the pieces. I hope there's no pieces. Nah, it won't be. Let's go fly again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it'll go. Yeah!